And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Joel. Just Joel. AK Blade. New knives from Boker. Savivi. Kaiser. Kubi. MKM. Maniago. There you go. So we're going to begin with the latest in the Savivi Elementum line, the Elementum with a one clip blade. I know. So four options with more on the way, oh, I'm wow. sure. Oh, wow. That's like a brand new design. <laughs> brand new, isn't it? So right now we have the black G10, green G10, black Micarta, and green Micarta, which I believe has the Damascus. Hmm. Can ever not. And the 87th Damascus. iteration of the element, it's seven inches overall. That seems vaguely familiar. Does it? 2.97 inch worn cliff blade offered in satin or black. Blade is 0.12 inch thick with hollow grind, plain edge, and they didn't forget the jimping. Operating on caged ceramic ball bearings, the blade is open with either the dual sided thumb studs or the back, back jimped flipper tab. Yep. Comes to about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale. Didn't do it. And on this one is green G10, but it does come in other options like we mentioned. So lastly, these liner locks feature tip-up pocket clips, lanyard holes, pouches, cleaning cloths, and stickers. So you can get you one starting at only $55 from uh, LineKnife.com. Okay, you can go first. I'll go first. Well, I mean, I like this style of the uh, Elementum. I'm a big Warren Cliff guy. Um, same old, same old, everything else. I like the outline. That's always nice. Doesn't get in your way. Nice little knife. I like it to be just a touch bigger, as always. Of course, they have it a touch bigger, I'm sure. Other than that... That's the Elementum XL that's on the way. Perfect. <laughs> oh, perfect knife. So... There you go. Yeah, I think milking the Elementum just doesn't quite say it any longer. So, I do like the Elementum, and I pretty much like every new version that comes out. Warncliffe is no different. It's good for all kinds of cutting tasks. The tip's built for like the precise cutting. It opens just as nice as the other Elementums. It's a good knife, okay? But it is the same, just a different well, style. Well, like you said, there's always room for improvement. They're... And they're going to keep trying until it's perfect. <laughs> is that what they're doing? And keep trying until it's perfect? I, I don't know it. if that's okay. Could well, be. I give it a B plus because all right. it's, you know, same B design, plus it is. But it's still a nice knife. Next, the Kaiser Clipper. New for 2023, mm -hmm. comes in two options, Blackout and Black Micarta. We're featuring Black Micarta option right now. This folder has a 3.15 inch, 154 cm steel Warncliffe style blade with jimping, plain edge, black finish, and a jimped top front flipper. Yep. For opening, yeah. That's always Oh, looky there. Yeah. So it's 0 0.11 inches thick. The blade comes in another option but with 3V steel instead of 154CM, and it has a black aluminum handle instead of black micarta, finish is also satin instead of black. That version has not been released yet, but it's coming, so just keep your nose to the grindstone there. Both options have reversible deep carry pocket clips and are liner locks. So designed by Tim Kingsford. King of charcoal. Yep, the slim minimalist design is ideal for any EDC. Find it starting at only 78 bucks. From All right, I'm gonna go first. So, it's a front flipper. Anybody who's seen the show knows we're not really into front flippers. However, I will say it is an easier front flipper to operate than previous ones, okay? It's got that going for it. I even think on one of my videos I was able to write it from the top. Nice 154cm, but Kaiser seems to have upped the price a little. They have several older models, if you consider a few months old. With 154 cm, they're like 69, 59. I don't see the increase in cost in a couple of months. Do you? Yeah. I don't inflation. Think, and I don't think this design is any better than the Bugai or the Assassin. Personally, I mean, someone might be like, "Oh, I really, really like this over those two, and that's fine." I just, I don't see it. All right. Decent carry for a front flipper, though. I believe you. Yeah. Okay. You All know. right. So. All you. I won't even go to that part. Um. 
I do see it's a little bit better do than you? the uh, Bukai. Now the Assassin, I don't think it's better than that because I really like the Assassin XL. It was nice. I do like the design of the Micarta. It's a different styling. Moves up the, uh, you can see the lines. Mm -hmm. Is it a different um Can't see the line, appearance. can you, Russ? I can. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Brought out a. Griswold, hmm. yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you put a bag flipper tab on there. You know, somebody else later in the show mm -hmm. does that, don't they? Do they? Or do they do it already? No. I, I thought I was. Saw, oh. I thought I saw one day that had a little front flipper up top, but it had a. Yes. Uh huh. There it is. It wouldn't been too much just to I mean, it's just tack a it on. And it probably would have boosted it up. They could have even made it really small where you can't even see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as you put some jimping on there. Mm -hmm. Jimp that. Okay. Move that means on. we're on to the Boker Plus M1. So just one option. This one. So this fixed blade is 7.68 inches overall and sports a 3.54 inch drop point blade with plain edge. 67 layer Damascus from little number there and is 0 0.16 inches thick. Can't but beat that. I know. This knife has a big tang with ergonomically shaped ebony wood scales, Damascus design bolsters. It's also a hollow brass stud in the handle for attaching a lanyard. Finally, a fixed blade, ready for everyday carry or outdoor hunting and camping trips. Comes with a brown leather sheath. Not, bread, not bad. Not my favorite style leather sheath, but. And it's just 10706. There it is. From thelandknife.com. Okay. I'm going to let you go first. Uh -huh. What do you think? Go ahead. Well, I kind of know what Joel's going to say already, but this is the typical style of hunting knife. I mean, this has been around. Yeah. Same handle, hand placement for gosh knows how long. Forever. Yes. Very thick blade. Be a nice hunting knife. Yes, I do agree that the Damascus part. I haven't said part, it yet. I haven't said it yet. Could lead to some rust, but you know, if you get a little blood on this and you don't get it all cleaned off and it leaves a little rust mark, it'll just remind you, like a little trophy, of exactly what you did to cause that rust. Uh-huh. Okay. Tell the folks what it's you great. think. I think it's a very nice quality knife. I'm not sure I'd use it for hunting, not that I'm a big prominent hunter. I just think using it for hunting would kind of be a pain because of the Damascus steel and the Damascus designed bolster. Just be a little tough to clean, I feel like, afterwards. You're going to get some stuff stuck to it. I would just stick with it as like a regular fixed blade carry because it's, it's pretty nice size. Quality is there. Very classy looking fixed blade for me. I it give it is, an A though. Is. Okay. Nice as long as she gives it an A, it's all that matters. Boker is now happy. And we have another Boker Plus to show you guys. It's the Nahal Warlock. Warlock? Lighter Nahal Lock. Lighter Lock. Ah, the Warlock would have been nice. It's very Octoberish. It is. Even very, though it's not October. Uh, I feel like it is. It should be. It sh I agree. It's October. <laughs> All right. This folder features a 3.14 inch D2 drop point blade with black stone wash finish, flat grind, and jimping. The handle scales are black grooved aluminum with tip up reversible pocket clip and lanyard hole. Yay! So blade is deployed with either the jimped front flipper tab, first try, or it's the little things in life. The back flipper stud, or you know if you have small enough fingers, you can open it with the thumb slot. Oh, my mother-in-law never get that nope, open. No, not like that. She wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And blade is disengaged with the liner lock. Wow! Designed yeah. by Iran. Manasharov. Nice. This line of lock can be yours for just fifty-six oh six at alangknife.com. Your turn. All right, my turn. Well, it is a very hefty folder to say the least. It's not a bad price either for the quality and all that you get. I would have liked some jimping on the back flipper. It's just a little slick. Sometimes your fingers just gonna slide right off. A little jimping would have alleviated that issue. And I would have liked a little more texturing on the aluminum. Again, same reason, just a little too smooth. Other than that, it's really not a bad pick for an EDC, especially ED2 at this price point. Definitely beats Kershaw at Sierra 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I like Can't this one. That. I like the opportunity to open the knife. And I also. <laughs> the opportunity? <laughs> yeah. So that's you're going to put it. Well, I wouldn't have the opportunity to open it because I'm not going to mess with it the other way. And the tab comes around and doubles. Uh -huh. Not really usable, uh -huh. but 
below. Cut Looking that. down below, it holds your finger right in place. I'm very big on if I'm going to use the knife, that my finger should not wind up here. Mm. Um, the styling part, it, it's a little awkward. It looks like the blade is kind of setting up like this and the handle comes back like that. Mm -hmm. But when you're holding it, it seems to fit nicely, especially in this. Um, We're going more for usability. Yeah, I'm here. a usability person unless I'm going to put it in a... Like display. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I mean, yeah. I like the uh, deep on, carry, but bucks. personally, I don't really care about any of that stuff. I stick it's it in nice. my pocket no matter what. So mm -hmm. I like the pot clip on this one. It is nice. It's it is nice good size. size. It is. It yeah. is. So, go ahead. Do I have to? Well, All right. You could stop it right now if you want. That's it. Time for the Kubi Aquino. <laughs> Mentally, I'm already there. <laughs> Mentally. Four options that we only have two in stock right now. But they're coming. Don't Comes worry. in a black jade blackout and red yeah we're featuring the regular black one today yep so this lockback and yes you heard right lockback is 6.97 inches when fully open has a 3.03 inch sand thick 14c 28n steel blade with straight back flat grind plain edge 0.12 inch thickness and on this version a bead blasted finish so blade is opened with hold on the pronounced nail nick, although I'm sure it was meant to look more like a, a fuller, but it just acts more as a nail nick. Gives it a flipper look. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Handle scales are black G10 and have both a lanyard hole and deep carry reversible pocket clip. Blade is disengaged with the rear lock back. Operates on caged ceramic ball bearings and features a half stop. Yep, there's a half there stop. There it is. Blade also comes in about uh, 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. He keeps doing it and I keep looking over and nothing happens. Mm. So finally designed by Tim weighing only 3.35 ounces this newest Kubi can ride in your pocket for only 52.50 from YouTube's go pick it right up AtlanticKnife.com yeah. oh, I don't want to uh, Tigos? Who knows? Tigos. T-I-G-U-A-S-S. -S. -S. I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him either. If I met him, I'd probably get it right. Alrighty. Well, let's see. You can see. go first. Your thoughts. Kubi's made a million and six knives. I'm sure they've done a lockback. We've never had it, right? Okay, we've never had it, but I'm sure they've done one in the numerous years. They're one of the first companies to make knives and send them over here. Um, the styling of it's nice. I would kind of like this as a little flipper knife. It would be interesting. Cute little flipper knife. Yeah, not bad. Other than that, I mean, it's just a... Uh, is it a pocket knife? Is that what it's supposed to be? I think so. I mean, for a modern pocket knife, I'm not really a modern pocket knife guy. I like really case knives. Knife. I like... I mean, I like a different... I don't like pocket case knives. knives. I like the colors case knives come in, but I don't like case yeah, knives. I don't really want to use one. I, I mean, kind of. Depends. Nope. I don't think I ever have a situation where I'm like, oh, you have a piece of paper? Well, let me see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It always turns out to a little bit more I don't, when I... I don't get the pattern of the... What is it? Like a 14 SS pattern. Oh, the different patterns yeah, they use. Yeah, I just like that. I'm like, oh, that's well, pretty. I like that. You haven't graduated from Case College. Clearly. <laughs> wow. That's hard, just, hard pass. All that is is just years Sorry. of messing with Case, and you'll get it. It's probably because uh, I'm not from to. that era. Oh. Oh. Um, well, neither am I because oh, uh, sure. I wasn't born in the 60s or 50s. Oh, so that, you were. You're moving on. My dinosaurs right. roamed <clears throat> the earth. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, well, considering this is Kubi's first lockback that I know of, mm -hmm. I can say it's a good first run. The blade opens fairly easily, but not too easily. The blade disengages really nicely, too. You don't have to struggle with it, but, you know, it's not too easy. I will say there is always room for improvement again. Pocket clip, I think, is a little too big for this knife. I imagine it's also not super comfortable when it's riding in the pocket. It needs to be a little closer to the handle, mm -hmm. and I think a touch smaller. Or make a bigger knife. Either one's a good solution. Both of those work for yeah. me. I'm not a big fan of the nail nick traditional pocket knife opening mechanism. That's just my preference, though. It's just not my cup of tea. On the whole, though, it's a good lockback from QB. 
just a couple of things they just need to work out you know be for them this is nice all right. all right we have tons more where those new knives come from yep we do more from boker savivi mkm I can't do but that first today. make sure to like share comment and subscribe as well as ring that little bell that way you're connected with AK and get first dibs on all the new content. And I automatically entered into giveaways. One more week for the Can't Beat BRS giveaway. Winner will receive this gorgeous M394 with brass backspacer and foam case, if I can pick it up. Double your chances by becoming an official AK member via the link down below. Hey, I got a question. Uh -huh. Can I put in an alias like Robinette John? And then that person wins and get it shipped to me. Except I know your address. So, oh. Yeah. And I know your mother-in-law, so don't try that either. I use a reshipping service. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'll email my son. That's great. <laughs> All right. See how that goes. Yeah. He'll just keep it. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, here we go. And while you're there, take a look at all the deals and new knives from AK. We are constantly updating our inventory to include the latest knives, which we get every day. From new brands to your popular favorites, we always have great deals and free shipping. Free shipping. So with that, we're back to the table looking at the MKM Eclipse. We saw this bad boy at Blade Show this year and it's finally on the table. So there's four different options, bronze, gray, purple, and blue. So we have the bronze one here with us. See, take it away. All right. So this is made in Italy. Yep. The so frame lock has 3.19 inch CPM Magna Cut steel blade with plain edge, 0.12 thickness, and on this option, a black stone wash finish. Comes to about 61 to 63 on uh -huh. the HRC Trying scale. Trying to trip me up, but I saw it. It is open with back, flipper tab, or thumb hole. Just pretend the thumb hole's not there because the flipper tab's the best. Okay. It's 7.52 inches when fully open and is seen sporting a bronze and a diced titanium handle and black marble, marble carbon fiber overlays. Naturally, the other options feature different color titanium, such as gray, blue, purple. Designed by Jesper Voxnes, this folder has a lanyard hole, tip-up, titanium pocket clip, and a pouch. Oh, you want to, okay, showing them on. Get here. a full-blown eclipse, starting at only two nineteen ninety-five from AtlanticKnife.com. Okay. Just look at that. All right, so I love this at Blade Show, and I love it here. You know, if they say if you don't love it in the store, you won't love it at home. I loved it at the store, and I love it here. I can see Jesper in this knife. I like the mix of materials, you know, the full carbon fiber scales on both sides. The anodized titanium is a nice touch. It really makes that color and the carbon fiber pop. And they kept the color throughout. They put it on the pocket clip. They put it on the little pivot cap on both sides. Flipper stud is a little short, but it's chimped, and it works amazing so there's no issue with that my favorite part though is probably the little mountain logo it's like a little mkm logo on there on the front that is so cute i love that it's like that little nice. icing on the cake i use cute sorry all right what do you think i too like this knife it matches me too. the italians got it right on this one they didn't did they? Good job. After Boxes. meeting those guys and talking with us, there is your uh, reason why they got it right <laughs> after meeting with them and thinking wow corkscrew and a knife okay um <laughs> look bro you can't bring that up you think they made time. they make such good products oh good just finally had to make the right product oh and this time that they did it was a good corkscrew knife but it, it not, was not a high oh, it was nice here. right i mean you know come on look I'm at me big, well he's a big wine drinker but i don't know we through. should totally look up what the percentage of uh, it's not people. as much as it used to be. Mm. They're drinking less higher. wine over there. They are? Yes. Wow. What's wrong with them? I don't know. All right, so. You need it now more All than the ever. things that you liked, I, I was doing the, you know. That's great. I thought you were trying to hit me. All the things second. that you like, mm -hmm. I liked on this also. My favorite part was the flipper tab. I thought, wow, this flipper tab is ridiculous. Look how stupid that is. And, but the, but then, and then I was, well, let's see what happens. Well, opened up. Every single time, I don't miss it. It's not too small. It's got the right I know, amount of dripping on it. I thought it would be, but then I flipped it, and I'm like, "If I could complain about this knife, could I would say wow, rolls, half an inch more. Rolls That's reversed. it for me. 
Yeah, other Perfect than that, size for me, so. Yeah, and you don't need the flipper. The, the thumb hole? The thumb hole. Yeah. yeah. It's too deep down kinda, in there for Amanda. That's kind of get his a, thumb in there and flip it open. a yes for it is though because he kind of and that's likes, okay that's it's still a perfect knife shape it is it is okay i think we have a problem we do so let's hit the last boker on the table for this week and that is the boker elso so just one option for this frame lock too it shows off a 3.35 inch d2 clip point blade with stone wash finish plain edge did you just take that that mkm eclipse off the table no i don't steal knives he don't steal. I mean, he don't kill. He steals. I forgot. S T E E L. Uh huh. Oh, are you seriously trying to make <laughs> fetch is never gonna happen? See. <laughs> okay. Oh goodness. So it's got a clip point blade with stone wash finish, plain edge, and flat grind. Handle and bolster are stainless steel with the black G10 overlays. Lanyard hole and tip up right carry pocket clip. Wow, look at that pocket clip. I didn't realize it was that thin. That's nice. It's your line, so you could steal All right, Blade is deployed with thumb hole and disengage with frame lock. Or more specifically, a bolster lock. 8.03 inch overall. This Cornell Kiss design. Wow. Tossed it in there. That's Comes great. with a pouch. And it's just 9431 from AtlanticKnife.com. That's the thing. I didn't want to show you the pouch because he's too busy stealing stuff. What you talking about? Okay, so I will go first. I like the handle on this option more than this poker but only because it's got the texturing from the G10. I think this option has more features for less, a little more bang for your buck. This one, it's all right, but there's no back flipper tab, stainless steel handle, and 94 instead of 56. That seems a little much for all of, pff, look at that. I think you're being a little unfair to our friends at Boker. I don't think I am. Well, they provided I this great jacket. <laughs> I don't think they provided that great jacket. I think you had to buy that great jacket. Okay, uh, I don't know. I just, I like this one better. Just, I don't know. The pocket clip's cool. I've never seen it quite styled like this, but I don't know how practical it is. I need to use it first to see how well it All right, does it here. What do you think of it? Well, this kind of reminds me of a K-Bar. It is K-Bar-esque. Almost exactly when it comes to the design. Not quite as heavy. I mean, it's a very utilitarian knife. You can use it. I'm sure it'll work fine. Uh, a lot of people are going to like this knife. The price probably is a little high, but what isn't a little high anymore? Okay, I agree with I everything like you the said. I like upturn. Everything you say, blade. and I Very like nice. that. But this one? This one's way better than that one, but what? I know, 40 bucks, I got you. What? It's not way better. This. Hey, guess what that means? And like every week, the end has come. We're on to the final knife on the table. This is a BB Cadis. Only three options right now. I will not be silenced. But <laughs> give it time. More will appear, I'm sure. We have the carbon fiber option to show you guys. So this liner lock has a 3.48 inch spear point blade. On this option, it is a black hand rub Damascus. On the other two blades, the steel will be 14C28N. All versions have a flat grind plain edge, jimping, 0.12 blade thickness. Blade can be opened manually with a faux Fuller? Very faux, yes. Or with a back flipper tab. Jump back flipper tab. So blade operates on cage ceramic bearings as if it could be anything else with Civivi. And comes to a 5860 on the HRC scale. On the Damascus option, 5759 on the 14C28N. That's great. So handle is black 12 carbon fiber. Full on both sides of this one. But there are other options that have uh, black stainless steel backs on the lock side so all right. just keep that in mind but that one's not no this all one right. just has full carbon fiber on both sides i'm liking this one mm -hmm. of course there are other options feature micarta cubaricio wood on their presentation sides and some even feature micarta and carbon fiber on both sides mm -hmm. finishes vary from version to version as well lastly each liner lock is eight inches overall has a tip-up pocket clip pouch and stickers. Yay! So, meet all tasks head on with Civivi Citus starting at just $57.80 from AtlantKnife.com. Even though you cut me off, you can go first. All right, well, here I'm I go. Lady. I'm digging this knife this week, and there is one reason why. Every, I mean, every time they make a knife, it's a good knife. This one is a good size. I like the Damascus styling on this one, but this extra little 
uh, black wash in there. They got Damascus in there too. You can look at it and see it in there. Can you really? Yep. Well, I don't, you, you know what? You're probably 100% right. I thought it matched the knife perfectly. Looked very nice. I would have liked a little accent on the pivot collar. Like something to just highlight it a little? Yeah, instead of like, you know, Full painting black. the truck matte black. <laughs> putting a little gold or a little, uh, you could have done gold, gloss. purple, blue. You could have done different ones like um, Best Tech did on the Bambi. Mm -hmm. Gave you more options to your line. Or the Glow Rhino Tritium where they had different colors inside of there. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong with Fermi. this knife. Um, That's what it was, it's the Fermi. Has everything you need. It's very light too. I think it's a really snazzy carry too. Of course, I'd have to go with this one. So a little more, I think it was like 93 maybe. A That's probably more. about right. Somewhere around there, IdleLandKnife.com. Snaps open, no issues with lockup, steel is sharp. Reminds me a little of the Benchmade bug out, just the style of the blade, the oh. handle size, you know. But imitation is the finest form of flattery, so. Hmm. I'm not crazy that the other options have stainless steel presentation sides, but because this one has both, I'm appeased. It's nice. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. First time in forever. <clears throat> Since that was our last carry this week, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring, ring that bell. That way you're notified when new stuff hits our channel as, as well, well as, as be automatically entered into giveaways don't miss out on the chance to win the glorious can't beat brs giveaway prize the brs navajo rubbing it john yeah double That's your good. chances by becoming an official ak member on a light knife link is down in the description okay favorite this week well where do you put it you took it away my favorite you took it away is nope. the mkm nope it's been right here the whole time it has not because there's no box. There. I like the oh, design of it. Where were you freaking keeping the box? Okay. And everything else about it. Now, if I had to have a... There's a tie for me for a second, obviously. Obviously. Between the Civivi and this Boker. Really? I really like the Boker. Yeah, fixed blades M1. at the $100 level. That's kind of where they're at. This is, it's nice and Damascus. It's nice. But, you know, once again, when Clean. you come to your practicality... Yeah. I would have tops, and you just use it for everything. It's just not as nice and flashy and as Except classy the looking. Copper finish is kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, Give them what you got. My favorite is the MKM Eclipse as well. I knew it was. Yeah, I know you know it was. It's got this nice crown spine. We didn't get to mention that part, but it's got a nice crown spine. I like that. That's my favorite one. All right. Okay, changing it up. What's your least favorite? I'll go uh, Kubi. Kubi? Yep. That's what I'm going to go with, All too. Right. There we go. My least favorite is the Kubi. So make sure to tell us what you thought of the knives this week. We may even include your comment in next week's With show. that, I'm C, and this was... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we're signing off. And even now, mother-in-law, did I tell you it was her birthday? Was it? Yeah, this weekend we took her out to eat. We took her to a place she'd been before, and she acted like she'd never been there before. Ah, yeah. It was actually fairly, uh, they had a buffet. So I was like, oh, I'll have that. That way I can get my food right away and get that over with and done. It was, uh, it was quite interesting. Um, That's all you got to say? Well, we also may say, I can't tell you how old she is. You can't? No, the Bible doesn't the... say when the angels fell. Oh, the angel fell? Yeah. Well, a she, specific one. That's, that's a good point. She once was an angel. Can you believe that? No. Mm -hmm. She thought she knew better. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. Except that's the angel part. Great. All right, so. Wow. Wow. Uh, my name's Mary. <laughs> that's great. It is the season. Um, I but, made him use this train of thought. Flipper. On the Citus, there's a different version that has a steel back. This is not the steel back one. All right, I'll wing it. That's my line anyway. You don't need to wing it because I'm saying it anyway, so. I'm pretty sure it's mine. Okay. <laughs>